very clear to me that uh, God has fully ushered me into the office of the Apostle. We are taking the campaign to places that we have not been to previously. We are taking the campaign beyond our continent. Jesus must be seen and his name must be glorified. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Welcome to Kingdom of the TV channel. On this channel, you're going to be listening to the first preview video that will be blessing your soul. Um, please do it to like and subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. And in this video, we're going to be watching Apostle Arame Ozaye praying for his son's evangelist Shola Huka, the, one of the great revivalists and evangelists in the RCN house. And afterward, you will be watching where he totally hand over the ministry of RCN into the hand of his son, Reverend Tony. And uh, it's a wonderful video that I want I want everybody to watch. You know, uh, we need to understand that uh, the body of Christ is not just to 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 take hold on a ministry and become that the Jew and that I'm only Jew, but is to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. And this is one of the things the body of Christ need to understand. Uh, it's a great one for Apostle Arimiozai to be one of the key leader and one of the pioneers of a great ministry in Nigeria. And by this, he has he has he has been a great blessing to the body of Christ. Please do us to like our video. I want you to watch this video right now. Subscribe to our channel. God bless you. Amen. When God equips men with spiritual things, such equipment is not meant for the dining room. It's meant for the field of engagement. And the meaning of all these things I'm saying is that uh, you may not be seeing me as frequently as you used to do. And that's why today I'm excited because God has raised strong men in this <laughs> Those of you that were there when we were in the old building, sometimes it's difficult to even imagine that we were in that old building. <laughs> but your place of preparation doesn't look like your place of manifestation. Love the Lord with all your heart. Stay away from sin. Walk with Him. Anyone that pleases his heart, he makes mighty. When we were building this place, the people said they, some guys came here to look at what we're doing. And they told them that this is the pastor. And indeed, they did not look like, like the pastor. They now came and said, if you have the money to build this kind of structure, why didn't you move it to Abuja? They said, no, this is where we were called to do ministry. I have watched carefully. And I've seen the power of evangelism on my friend. <laughs> I want to bless you. I want to bless you. Come. If your heart remains as fervent as it is, not too long from now, in one of your campaigns, you will raise the dead. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. It is only by mighty acts that the glorious majesty of the kingdom of God can be revealed. Can we pray for the evangelist? If your heart does not waver, not too long from now, in one of your campaigns, you will be called to pray for a dead person. And the person will rise up from the dead. Father, 
Enlarge the coast of your servant. Enlarge the burden for the lost on his hand. Enlarge his capacity for signs and for wonders and miracles. We also ask for the funds to keep us always on the field until the last person in Nigeria confesses of a truth that Jesus is the Lord. Strengthen Cause your face to shine upon him. Lift up the light of thy countenance over him. Cause him to shine as he carries the message of the gospel from city to city, from place to place, and from nation to nation. Mm. Places that men could not penetrate. Enclaves sold out to falsehood and darkness. Grant unto him power and the scepter of evangelism such that even them that sit in darkness will receive a great light. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing. I will be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of the eternity. My daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing. I will be singing and shouting and shouting for the rest of eternity. My daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing. I will be singing. And shout for the rest of eternity. Only you, 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 In a few years from now, most of you here will become mighty, mighty men and women. <laughs> when we gather, maybe five years from now, I will remind you of today. God is pleased and he, there's a chamber that he has opened. A chamber of mercy that he has opened. But out of this number, the mighty will arise from amongst us. Great things will spring forth out of the lives of men. I want to pass blessings. First of all, on Pastor Tony. Bring my oil. Arise, shine, for your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. God has promoted me, so I am praying for you so that you will enter into the previous shoes that I occupy. Now, and I want to call on all of you to support him to succeed as we take over the field of the immediate city and of the adjoining cities roundabout Makodi. And also, 
invade without season. Boko. Botokbo. And Oju. Until that which has held this land will give up. Father, I ask that you look kindly on your servant. He has been faithful in the vineyard. So now I ask that you proclaim him a prince like you proclaim Jacob. For you said to Jacob like a prince, you have secured power with God and you shall prevail. So with all the fragrances of blessings upon my heart, I bless you. Let the ability and the power to walk miracles, to see impossible things made possible. Let it speak from your life. Grace, great grace, mighty grace. In the name of Jesus. Well, let me tell you the testimony. I had an encounter with God and he showed that he had increased our field of labor. Yes, the nations, yes, under our hand, he has increased it. So because of that increase, we are going to set out not too long from now. And it will be longer than this last one. And that's why I anointed, <laughs> I anointed Pastor Tony. Let us support him. His time has come. Let him receive all the support. The only guarantee that I give you is that during our major conferences, you will see me. That's, I can't promise you more than that for now because there are some places that opened that may not remain open. So we need to enter now and see what we can do for the Lord as much as possible. Now, one of those places that are open massively to us is the United States of America. So we are going to the U.S. and we are going to be moving from state to state, starting with Texas. And I need to say something quickly before I take my seat. When I was still in the petroleum industry, my name appeared on the training list twice to go to Houston, Texas, because that's where the oil base of the United States is for a training. This training will culminate in an examination and I heard that the pass mark for the examination was 70%. And if you pass, you'll be given a certificate as a fiscalization expert. My name appeared on the list twice. And um, the way it was done was that the list now came out one week to the course. And there is no way you can get a US visa in one week. That was how I was denied the opportunity to go do that course. It happens to be that our first mission to the U.S. on this trip is Texas, the same place that they denied. <laughs> and I don't need the office to print, to put my name on the list anymore. Sometimes God will allow you experience of losses. He will, he will restore it, but he wants you to know that no man's hand can stop your destiny. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Welcome back from that video. I know you are blessed in that video. This is Kingdom Audio TV channel. Please do have to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. Don't forget to drop your comment, drop your point of view. I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen.